Got to be perfect trajectory and angle. <laughs> would have no Oof. <laughs> I don't even care. Hello friends, my name is Ryan Topher, and today we are playing Getting Over It with Ben and Fonny. Usually I play new games uh, two years after they come out, so this is a new thing for me. Alright guys, I want you to know that I just played this game for 20 minutes, and I was not recording my screen the whole time. So, I'm starting off on this game right now, you're watching, I'm in a bad place. Alright. <laughs> Starting off in a very bad, very bad place. Big buff guy, let's do this. I believe in us. I, I don't know what everyone's saying. This game is so hard. It's easy, guys. I'm so... This game is so easy. So, I'm not even gonna get frustrated once in this whole game. I'm so glad you didn't see the last 20 minutes that I played. Get me over this tree, you stupid hammer man. You just need to launch yourself. Launch! Yes, like a spaceship. That's what I want to be when I grow up. Hey! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Here we are. Yes. Yes. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Oh, trust me, I don't even know what that feels like. Then what you're about to go through might be too much. It probably is gonna be. Yeah, so it's very ironic right. that, um... Thanks for okay, you're gonna keep talking. Game. Okay, what I was saying... Trying so and hard to get back to where I was so quickly. Alright, this is where I was, guys. It took me 20 yeah, minutes to get here before. Unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Falling and losing everything? I've never done that. Come on. Come on, just reach it reach over and get it. I've already heard all of this, Bennett. I played this game for 20 minutes. Okay, guys, I need to get to that light. I just need to put my hammer on that light. Come on. Come on. Look at him. That's just wrong. It is so ironic that this whole game is about falling down and starting over. And, um... I basically fell down and started over with recording this video. So close. The hammer is a blessing and a curse, guys. It can either help you climb or it can uh, push you off the edge. What the sh- <laughs> I don't care. I will not get frustrated with this game. I have vowed to that. Oh. Okay, I was stuck up there and I wanted to be stuck up there, Bennett. Why would you do this to me, Bennett? Why did you get into this situation? Who put you here? Was it like 127 hours and uh, your friends just left you in a canyon? Except you were stuck in a cauldron, somehow. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Just do it the first time? I've never done this in my life, Bennett. Ben, it's like, you've done this every day. You, you know what to do. I'm like, no, Ben, I've never found myself in a cauldron shirtless with a sledgehammer. Why? Oh, hi. Launch. No, no, guy. Just get me in that blue door so I can uh, reside in there and cry and get me out of this cauldron. <laughs> then I can climb the mountain with my arms and legs. Guys, I love this game, by the way. It's so good. I think I'm going insane. I, th I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, just gotta launch myself. Not not that way, not down. I wanna launch up. Yeah, I get the whole metaphorical obstacles in your life. I get it. I am over that point. I've gotten over it. If you get that, if you get that pun, it's the name of the game. Oh my, holy, holy uh, matrimony. That's right. Getting married. It took me so- it took me 20 minutes to get to this point. And then I played for three minutes after that, and I got back to this point. And you know how I did that? I didn't think about it at all. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna- I'm not even gonna think strategically about whatever. I'm not gonna think about how I'm in a pot, a cauldron, and it's gonna work! Would you look at that? Hey! Woohoo! Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. Oh, oh, a real punch in the gut, you say, Bennett Foddy. A real punch in the gut. Oh, thanks for teaching me a good lesson. Thanks for giving me a real beat in the punch in the gut. Thank you. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And now I am back where I started, and I love this game. I can't believe I'm actually still playing it. But I need to overcome my obstacles. Am I right, Mr. Foddy? We're back here, guys. Just not gonna think about it. Just gonna use brute force. That is the strategy, guys. When I think about it, and I try to do strategy, and I think about how this man is in a cauldron of water, and he's also ripped as 
heck? I mean, I do the same thing over, over and over. Over and over. Getting over it. Get over it. Thank you. Assy bunchies. Uh, honey bunches of ass. Uh, honey nut assios. Swinging around. Why did he say ah like he just drank a cup of iced tea? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Very nicely. Just launch. Okay. That tree. I can't I can't grasp onto that tree. So don't. Okay, okay. Oh whoop. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects. Bought in a I'm here. The most part I've overcome it. Happened. Thank you. I, I would like to thank bad, the academy and my hammer. Where am I supposed to go now? B philosophy. B philosophy? This guy is so deep. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, this one is so difficult. Mm. Maybe this is what digital culture is. Of creativity's fountain. Uh. A landfill with everything. Whoa! Red, Why are these homes in the clouds? This guy knows everything. Yet he made this game. The oh, pile. this out guy should write a book. Out of sight. Whoa! Oh! No! Oof. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's all right, Bennett. <laughs> Thanks for saying sorry. That you're a real nice guy. Actually, yeah, I really admire you, and you're really smart. So, but yet you made this frustrating game, that is the hardest game I have ever played. Hey! Whoa! No, don't fall. <laughs> don't do that. You silly man. I believed in you. I believe. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. <clears throat> uh, keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. It's all good, man. I'm so sad, guys. I have the key to the world. Guys, I believe in us. I have come so far i've fallen so much but i think we can get back to where we were i just hate that little narrow part with the lights that is the hardest part i guarantee you in the whole game i love this game i love it what you just saw was a mixture of meditation um and praying i need the help of all the gods and the meditation gurus and everything i don't know what is real spiritually but i need it see this game is making me philosophical guys no hey this thing that we call failure is not the falling down but the staying down dude you're blowing my mind i love you and i hate you bennett Fadi. i admire you but you're also a big piece of crap but i love you what are these feelings that you're making me feel with this $8 game that I bought? Hey! Haha! <laughs> it fell to the ground! I am on the ground! There is water right beneath me, and I, I don't know why I'm not just going in there and drowning myself, to be honest with you. Hey! Great! Music. Going down the road feeling bad. You just play that music whenever someone sucks so bad? Okay, I feel a little bit better. Whatever this song is, it makes me feel a little bit better. I'm done with this song. I want some hard rock that's gonna make me forget all my pain. Yes. Yes, the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me, Bennett? Did I hurt you? Whatever I did to you, I am sorry. Okay. Hey, why don't you stay up there? Why don't you not fall down? All right, just bring yourself in there. Bring your... Yes, thank you. Wow! I'm so over this. And that's why it's called getting over it. You get over it in two seconds. You're like, I'm over this. Yet you're still under. I don't know. Bennett Foddy, if you ever see this video, please write a book of inspirational and philosophical quotes that have to do with your game. That would- I would buy that. I just want you to know that. And then I would throw it away, and then I would go dumpster diving for it, and then I would burn it, and then I would buy another copy and repeat the whole process. Because that's how mixed my feelings are about this game. I love it. This- I- I really do. I'm not being- I know I said it sarcastically, 
because it's so frustrating. Hey, why don't you not do that next time, you stupid sledgehammer man? Even though I'm the one controlling you, so technically I'm the stupid sledgehammer man. Sledgehammer down, don't even think. How's your guys' day? Mine's great. I'm not thinking, and that's what's helping me get to this point. Okay, don't even think, don't, don't even think about- The soul would have no rain- <laughs> Had the eyes no tears someone say tears i'm not crying <laughs> i'm not crying Bennett. all right i'm not crying i have stuff in my eyes called tears all right guys one episode in this game has officially driven me insane i got so far in the game and uh only to fall all the way back to the bottom and that's life i guess bennett foddy with your philosophical ways I don't know. I will definitely be playing this game for another video. I cannot stop. So basically, I just played this game for an hour and I'm still in the same spot that I was. Great. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Wow. I pray to the hammer gods. Hammer gods don't respond. They just give me a hammer and that's it.